Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. And please use that description box link for a reading if that is what you want to purchase as that will take you directly to my etsy shop there are scammers and impersonators about the tarot card community i want to make sure you you guys are getting what you want and know that if i do a reading for you a tarot reading you will always see my face in video and you will receive an unlisted link that will be available to you on YouTube forever and ever. And don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. So Virgo, you have the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. You're going after your dreams here. You're going after something. Now... This could require you to walk away from something. I don't feel that you're saying anything about this. This could be love, a commitment. I feel like you may be deciding to commit somebody in the future here. For some of you, it could be somebody from the past. Let's see. Let's see, Virgo. Eight of Wands. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So something that ended. You're going back after. Yep. Two of Swords. And the Devil. So this was a toxic relationship you felt stuck in. Oh, why are you going back after it? Clarify the Devil. Let's see. Knight of Cups. So there could have been, this person could have been a little bit immature. They could have been younger than you or could be younger than you. Let's check out this. Is this the same person? All right, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. There might be two people here. Because I'm getting the sense that you're finding this passion again, but after this ending right this feeling of being stuck in this toxic relationship i feel like there's a decision that you make that that's it i'm no longer remaining stuck i need to get out of this and so you move forward you push forward with this eight of wands energy and this ten of pentacles because this is going to make you happy this could be with the leo a taurus virgo capricorn yeah, because it's time. It's almost like the clock is ticking within you and then the alarm goes off and you're off. You're off. You're no longer allowing that to hold you hostage, this, whatever this toxicity was, because there's somebody waiting for you, two of cups. And this is why you're not saying anything because you don't want this to be sabotaged. You don't want... You don't want to introduce any energy into this scenario here. Tell me about the Three of Cups. The Three of Swords. So this, what you're getting past is a third party situation here. You're deciding to trust again, I'm hearing. And you're, you're excited about it. There's a lot of passion that you're feeling towards this person who's at a distance. King of Pentacles. So there's a lot of stability with this person. They're very stable. They are very abundant. Independent. Yep. So you're taking the leap of faith. Aries, Sagittarius, energy here. Virgo. 
Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Yeah, the Four of Cups. So this past person, going back to this past person here, you may have felt rejected by them, right? They may have began to ignore you uh, because of this third party situation. You felt rejected. So you walked away. Yeah. And you waited. You may have even waited for this person to change. And they didn't. So now you're standing in your power here with the Queen of Wands energy. And you're, you're deciding, I deserve happiness. And you do. So let's see about this person. Who is this person? Huh? Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. This person is your peace. This person is abundant. Could be an earth sign here. Like I said, Taurus energy. The tower. This comes out of the blue. Comes out of the blue, but you know right away. You know right away. Yep. Ten of Cups. I feel like this is it. That's what they're telling me. This is it. This is it. Ace of Cups. They love you. Yeah, that's you keeping it secret. But this person is intuitive as well. They love you, Virgo. They really, really do. Mm -hmm. You got them all dreamy-eyed. So how do you feel about them? Five of Swords. You're worried about once this gets out. Six of Wands. Yeah, you're worried about the attention. You feel like people are going to be jealous. People are going to try to infiltrate this, this union here. You're worried about frenemies. Which is why you're keeping it secret. But you're taking this slow. You see this as a victorious union here. And not only that, the magician, you manifested this. You feel victorious over yourself because you overcame the obstacles that were put in your way by this previous person, right? This broken heart, this feeling of stuck. Yeah, but you gain strength. And that is how you elevate to emperor, empress status through the trials and tribulations of the heart. That's exactly what you do. So what is your advice? Queen of Pentacles. To create your world. King of Cups. Face your fears with the moon, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Face your fears. Your fears surrounding your heart. Okay? Connect with the creative aspect of yourself and build the world of your dreams that you wish to build. Nine of Cups. Dreams again. Let me get some Kipper. Let's get some Kipper. Whoops. Oh. All right. Tell me about this person. And that's all she wrote. Marriage. That's what this is all headed for. Virgo. Marriage. Let's get an advice card from the Oracle. Muse. Muse. Seek out or act as a positive, inspiring, and helpful muse to another's creativity. So try to be helpful to somebody who needs it. Indecision. Decide not to make a decision at this time. This will be a constructive, valid, and useful decision. So if there's a decision throughout this process that you don't want to rush into, don't. Take your time. It's okay, Virgo. All right, Virgo, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way, this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Please use that description box link um, for 
a reading if you're interested as there are tarot card impersonators running amok throughout the community. Know that you'll see my face in the video if you're ordering a tarot card reading from me and that you will receive an unlisted link that will be available to you on YouTube forever and ever. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. Have a wonderful day, Virgo, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.